everybody, it is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness, and today I am talking about how to get out of a funk when it comes to workouts. If you are new here, welcome to Shape It Up, and my name is Nicole. I am a personal trainer. I also have a background in physical therapy and also was a former professional ballet dancer many, many moons ago, um, and I help women who are over 40 get fit and kind of realize the potential that they're probably holding back from. So if you would like to learn more about Shape It Up, head over to shapeitupfitness.com and you can learn more about Shape It Up. All right, so today I am talking about how when you're working out, especially when you've been working out for a while and you're kind of in a funk. Um, a lot of times the funk kind of kicks in when you've kind of, I don't wanna say plateaued, but you're just not seeing the progress that you wanna see or you are um, having a lot of obstacles in your way. A lot of it really is just mind drama that you're having. Um, but so this morning, one of my clients came in and um, she, she immediately said, she was like, I'm in a funk about working out. Totally fine, I get in funks myself too. But I wanted to point this out that when you feel like you're in a funk, again, it is really just the thoughts that you're thinking, but try these thoughts on because they might help you get out of your funk a lot quicker. So at this point, when you're in your funk, you, I really want you to kind of tap into gratitude. Um, you know, I think especially if we, I, I am not too familiar with European comp, uh, countries, but like in the United States, come on, we have everything that you, we could possibly need. Most of us, right? Um, if you have clean drinking water and you have a roof over your head, you're doing pretty good. If you're watching this video on an iPhone, come on, <laughs> you're doing just fine, okay? So I think when we kind of get into this funk, we need to kind of step back a little bit and think about some other people because if you think about the people who are um, paraplegics, who are amputees, um, who are recovering from a stroke. I mean, to, for them to get in to do a workout, that's a real jump. That's a real struggle for most of them. Um, and again, it, it's the mindset too. But, you know, if you have four limbs and the only thing stopping you from getting in a good workout is your mind, it's, it's time to start touching and I feel it's time to start to get into that gratitude and being grateful for what you have. So when I worked as a physical therapist assistant, I got the opportunity to work with people who were amputees, um, spinal cord patients. Um, my main focus was um, orthopedics, um, but I did deal with people who were amputees and spinal cord patients and it was very, it's fascinating to see because they go through basically the stages of grieving, but once they come out of that, the things that they can do, and it could be just simple things like, you know, walking five steps for them, that is a huge, huge accomplishment. And um, there's a picture that is running around on Facebook every now and then, or like a meme, and it's this little boy, and he, um, I don't know if he has both the legs amputated because I haven't looked at it in a while, but he has um, an orthotic um, device that enables him to run. And the look on his face, he's just so ecstatic. So I think when we get in our little funks, it's time to look at these people that are doing fantastic things and they are quote unquote limited. You know, they may be missing an arm, they may have had a stroke or, or something like that. So kind of touch base with, um, I heard a saying the other day, it was something like, if you're, I think Tony Robbins said it, but if you think of someone else, there's no way you can be selfish. So meaning like if you are in a funk, right? Cause when you're in a funk about your workouts, it's really about you and how you're feeling. And then if you take yourself and you start looking at these people who are amputees or paraplegics or, you know, who are overcoming obstacles that you can't even fathom, you know what I mean? It kind of takes you out and there's no way you can kind of be, well, hopefully you can't be selfish about thinking about those people. Um, so, 
Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So someone else. So if you're doing your workout, there's probably a ton of other people out there that are looking at, you know, would love to do the workout that you're doing, like would kill to do the workout that you're doing. Um, it could be someone who is 400 pounds and can't get out of bed. You know, that's, that's their workout. That's their struggle. So again, when you get in this funk about coming in and doing your workouts, you gotta take a step back and look at the big picture. Um, and I would say, take a breath and get in gratitude, be grateful for what your body can do and go with that. You know, everybody has some type of limitations, whether it's physical limitations or mental limitations, because most of us have mental limitations for sure. <laughs> but once you get past that and, um, you know, just be grateful for the things that you can do, the fact that you can go to a gym or, you know, you can do a push up or go for a walk in the park, take advantage of those. So I am going to wrap that, this video up, but I want to leave you with a quote from one of my clients and they, and I was very proud of her today. <laughs> I know that sounds like a mom kid relationship, but I was really proud of her because, um, some people, when they come to me, their mindset just needs a little bit of tweaking and they're all in and, and it, and it flows very easily and very quickly and they get to their goals quickly. And then there's some people who are in the middle and then there's some people that come to me as clients and there's a lot of um, layers that we have to peel back and get to before they can move on. And, um, you know, physically doing the workouts and physically eating the food that you're supposed to be eating is one thing. But if your mindset and your frame of mind is not in the right spot, you're either going to lose the weight and then regain it back, and then some, or you're just gonna kind of do a little blip. You're gonna lose a little, gain a little, lose a little, you know what I mean, and kind of bing back, back and forth. So when she said this, I was like, wait a minute, stop. I have got to write this down. I said, I'm gonna make it into a meme. So this is her quote. I won't say who did it, because I'm not sure if she wants me to say her name on camera. But so this is what she said. So again, she had come in in a funk, we had talked about gratitude and we talked about all this. And um, this is her quote. She said, exercise is not a punishment for what you ate. It's a celebration of what your body can do. And I was like, that's amazing. That is an awesome quote. So again, exercise, uh, you know, if you look back prehistoric times or even the early 40s, 1940s, you know, we were a very active society. You did a lot you know, a lot of jobs were laborious and intensive and we didn't have to work out, um, as much because you were burning off the food that you're eating granted and food too. There was not as much food available as there is today. So, you know, I really think we, we take advantage of the, um, the luxuries that we have in life. And, you know, the fact that we can sit on a couch and watch TV for, nine hours, right? Netflix, YouTube, anything like that. I don't know if you can hear in the background, my dog is trying to get a toy out. But anyway, <laughs> so um, I just thought that was a beautiful quote. Again, it was exercise is not a punishment for what you ate. It is a celebration of what your body can do. So I will leave you with that. If you have any comments, go ahead and put it below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Remember to get fit, be fierce and have no limits. And before I forget, if you're interested in getting a free phone consult with me, head on over to shapeitupfitness.com call, C-A-L-L. -L. All right, have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.